As a maid in Coronadal City, 26-year-old Janeline Villavende had lifted drinks for her family, sent her youngest sibling to school, fixed her old house, and buy back her father's farm. But a monthly income of 2,500 pesos just wasn't enough to reach those goals. And so, off to Kuwait, she went to the dismay of her stepmother. Huwag ka nalang mag-abroad. Kita mo naman yung si Dimaphilis. Oo. Sige lang, T. Sabi niya, paswerte lang man. Sabi niya, patay kung patay. Sabi niya, hindi kasi siya mapigilan, ma'am. During her first few months in the Middle East, Janeline swore to Aling Nelly that she was doing fine. But the problem was, Janeline's employer only sent half of her salary to her family back home. Na gusto niya full ibigay, tapos pag tiningnan na yung resibo, half. Kasi sabi nila, 120 kid. Sa Pilipin peso. Sa Pilipin peso da, mga 20 plus. Aling Nelly last talked to her in October 27. She tried to reach her in November and December, but only Janeline's female employer answered her calls. Yung employer na babae, sabi niya, busy sa work. Sabi niya, ang, yan ang sinasabi na sa akin. Pagka December 11, tumawag ako ulit. Tapos, sabi niya, busy pa rin. Ano nang nararamdaman niya? Nararamdaman naman ko na sa katawan ko na parang sabi ko, parang hindi na... Yun ang kwani jinilin doon, baka mayroon ng ano man ba. Nelly then repeatedly pleaded to Janeline's agency in Takoro, the five-star agency, to check on her daughter. They vowed to monitor the situation, but failed to give any update. Until the family's worst fear happened, a call from the Foreign Affairs Department brought them the sad news of Janeline's passing on December 30. Galit. Kasi hindi nila pinansin yung, yung sinasabi ko. Kasi pag sinabi ko doo, pa, noon pa, dapat buhay pa si Jinilin. Hindi na po kami buo. Dahil New Year po pa yun. Mahal na po siya. Mahal na buhay ko po siya. News 5 went to her agency's office, but it's been closed since November. Five-star staff in Manila, according to Aling Nelly, is coordinating with them and has given them 10,000 pesos. The Villa Vendes are now asking the president to help in their search for justice. Pangulong Duterte, sana bigyan mo ng ustisya si Ginny Lynn para ang, ang pinatay na si Ginny Lynn, ma'am, dapat siya mapatay rin, ma'am. The investigation is still ongoing in Kuwait. They expect the body of Janeline to be brought back to the Philippines within 10 days. For News 5, Jenny Dongon, We Are One News. Foreign Affairs Secretary Teddy Boy Loxin says Villavendez's killer deserves death. In a tweet, Loxin demanded a life for a life, saying the life of a Filipino, whether maid or socialite, is equal to that of a queen. Let's keep to the Middle East, from Iran and Iraq to Kuwait and now to Libya. The Philippine Embassy is urging Filipinos in Tripoli to evacuate areas near the war zone in the country. This after the embassy rescued eight Filipino nurses from a clinic very near where intense clashes have been taking place. The embassy is offering assistance to Filipinos near the front lines, whether for relocation or repatriation. Nearly 150 Filipinos were repatriated from Libya last year. Forces allied with strongman Khalifa Haftar have been on the offensive against Tripoli since April 2019. The remains of another OFW, the second casualty in a car accident near a Singapore mall last Sunday, arrived home early Friday. The body of Abigail Leste was received at the airport by her mother and her two children was immediately brought to her hometown in Tugigarao, Cagayan. The remains of Arlene Lupos, another OFW killed in the crash, was brought home on Thursday. Two other victims are still in ICU at a Singaporean hospital.